So a couple days ago, I came across this one guy who killed me with the M1917 Browning and this guy had a skin that I've never seen on it before. I went over to the menus and checked the battle packs, guess what? There is no such skin in them. So I went over to the M1917 Browning customization menu, hoping that maybe the skin is there. But again, guess what? There is nothing in here. I didn't even have the option to customize visuals of the weapon, because I haven't dropped any skin from the battle pack and the option isn't even available. So I started wondering, how else can I customize my weapon without doing it in the game? And I got two options, the companion app for the mobile and the battle log webpage. Or actually the companion webpage, whatever. It used to be called the battle log back in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, so don't judge me. But either way, despite of the fact how this webpage is actually called, if you go to the loadout, go to customization of the M1917 Browning, you will see a skin called an escalation. And you won't be able to see the picture of it or see the weapon with the skin equipped on the battle log or on the web page in general, but once you log into the game, you will actually be able to play with it and normally see it on your weapon. What's interesting about it is that even if you equip the skin on the web page and go to the weapon customization menu in the game, you won't be able to see an option to unequip the skin or switch it to the other skin unless you have other skins unlocked. But even when you do have some skins, you won't be able to equip an escalation skin again if you change it to the other skin unless you go to the companion site. Basically what I'm trying to say here is that every time you want to equip the escalation skin you have to go to the companion instead of the game customization menu. It's quite weird actually that DICE decided to hide this skin in the companion, maybe it is supposed to be a reward in some event that hasn't happened yet, or maybe it is just a bonus for those of you who use the companion. But either way, it's quite weird for them not to say anything about it pretty much anywhere. So then all of this got me wondering, what if DICE is actually working on more Turning Tides content, but they're keeping it a secret to make it a surprise in January? Of course, at this point those are only my speculations, but the same thing happened with the They Shall Not Pass DLC. They never announced night maps and they added them at the later date. And while I'm not that certain if releasing more maps would be the case for Turning Tides, because they still have to release the Apocalypse DLC, they could actually include more weapons or weapon variants in the January part of it. For now, we only know that we are getting two new maps along with the C-Class Airship and new specializations. Just remember guys that at this point those are only my personal speculations and none of that has to be true, except for the secret skin of course, because that one is true and you should go and equip it. It's always better to have some skin on your weapon if you haven't dropped any from the battle pack and on top of that, majority of players don't even know that this skin exists and everyone will be curious how did you get it. And once they ask you about it, make sure to tell them to go over to youtube.com slash crafter and like and subscribe. In all seriousness guys, I'm really trying to reach 5k before January 22nd and I suppose none of you actually know what this date means for me, because back then, when I uploaded my first video on the January 22nd 2017, I had exactly zero subscribers. No one knew that I existed back then. And this was when I told myself that I want to get 5000s of people watching me in my first year. Back then it seemed unreal and I've never thought that this will actually happen, but at this point I'm quite sure that we can actually make it. And if we manage to do it, I promise every single one of you that on the January 22nd I'll release a video both revealing my face and answering all of the questions about who I actually am. And that would be it for this video. As always guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.